This entitled mum claims that her kid deserves a discount because he's a YouTube celebrity. But the cashier isn't buying it. What crazy thing will this entitled family do next? Happy birthday, today's your birthday and on with the revamp show. So this took place about two months ago during my family's New Year's Eve party. About 30 people showed up, including my favourite cousin, we are both 14, and his aunt who lived in another province seven hours away. They showed up at my house and me and my cousin, let's call him Jack, head down to my basement to play on my PS4. Jack doesn't have any video games at home and entitled aunt gives him limited access to their TV, so he was very excited to get to play on a PS4. I showed him the games that I had and he chose NHL 19. Now this isn't exactly a game that you can learn in 5 minutes, but I jumped into practice mode to show him the basic controls and stuff so we can play a game. After I taught him the controls, we started the game. I randomised the teams and we ended up getting New Jersey Devils versus Ottawa Senators. Now both of those teams are a complete dumpster fire in real life, but New Jersey was higher rated in the game, so Jack decided to play as them. We started the game and I was smoking him 6-0, and we were barely past the halfway point for the first periods. This is when the entitled aunt comes downstairs to check on us. What are you playing? NHL 19. Oh, okay. How do you like it, Jack? It's the best thing ever. Interesting. What's your team name? The New Jersey Devils. Now I should mention that entitled aunt is a very religious person and she goes absolutely nuts when someone uses the word like devil or anything else that she considers unholy. So at this point the word devils being shown on the screen in the arena or all hell breaks loose. Ugh, what monster would create such a thing? She then grabs Jack and drags him upstairs while shouting a bunch of gibberish directed at me or the game. I'm in kind of a state of shock when I hear the entitled aunt stomping down the stairs as she runs up to me. How dare you expose my son to such levels of sin? You and your parents should be ashamed of this. Uh, um, I'm not sure what you want me to do about this. Well, do something about it then. She then runs into my dad's workshop and I hear rummaging through some drawers. My dad and a few other relatives have now started to make their way downstairs to see what the commotion's about. But little did we know that the trouble was just starting. Entitled aunt comes running out of the workshop and lobs a hammer. And by lobs, I mean absolutely puts her whole ability into this throw at the TV. The TV, as you would expect, shatters and the screen goes black. At this point, I'm furious as I had just gotten that TV as a Christmas present less than a week earlier. What the flying frick did you just do to my TV? I destroyed it for corrupting my son. Video games are the work of the devil. I don't care who they're the work of. My dad yells at her. Entitled aunt, I swear, if it wasn't for the 25 people watching me, I would break you. I'm not paying for anything because I saved your child from corruption. You should be paying me. The only thing that's corrupt here is your brain. Now this is where it really takes off. I'm part black and by part, I mean my dad is white and my mum is black. But this didn't stop my aunt from using the hard are against me. Shut your mouth you little racial slur. At this point some other relatives separate us and I head off to my room and didn't come out until everyone left. After this my aunt refused to pay for the TV and we settled out of court to pay for the replacement. However neighbours of entitled aunt later called child protective services on her for making one of her kids sleep outside when it was negative 20 degrees celsius. CPS stepped in and took her kids away and we are currently the foster parents of Jack and we are considering legally adopting him soon. So in a nutshell don't be the aunt that throws a freaking hammer at a TV and calls her nephew the n-word. Every group of people have their crazies, whether it's political groups, religious groups, whatever. And unfortunately for Christians, this is one of their crazies. How do I know she's crazy? Well for one, she threw a hammer at a TV. And this lady is on thin ice. If she keeps saying the n-word like this, then I'm gonna have to ban her from my Christian Minecraft server. So I live close to my local GameStop, about a 3-5 to five minute drive away. It's a small little store with only a few employees, so I've recognised some of the staff members from my visits there. And since I go there so often, I've encountered many rude parents who think their precious little angel deserves a discount on a rather expensive item or a game that they don't have in stock or something along those lines. So buckle up, this is where the fun begins. A while ago, I'm in the store browsing for a particular pop figure, in case any of you were wondering. I was looking for a cuphead pop. Yes, I'm one of those people. And it's
it's only me, two cashiers, the EP, her kid, and another guy in the store at the time. The other guy was off messing with one of the demos, and the kids standing sorta of to the left of me, browsing t-shirts, with his mum not paying any attention. Anyway, I find the pop I'm looking for, grab it, and tuck it under my arm. And just as I do, I hear the kid next to me scoff. Keep in mind, this kid was way younger than me, like seven years old or something. I turn to the kid smirking at me. Excuse me, did you say something? Cuphead. Really? What? It's a great game. Yeah, a great game for nerds. At this point, I'm kind of dumbfounded. Keep in mind that this was a small child, younger than me, calling me a nerd just for picking up a pop figure. And he says it in a way like he just came up with the best insult in the history of insults. And does his mum say anything? Nope. She barely acknowledges the fact that her son just called a random stranger a nerd. So I just kind of shrug, roll my eyes and walk away, still browsing. Fast forward and I'm checking out some games that look interesting to me. And I hear someone scream from across the store. I look over to the register and see the EP and the little brat from earlier standing at the checkout. The entitled parent is not happy. This was a while ago, so bear with me, I'm just summarizing. This is outrageous. A controller should not cost $70. The cashier, who I don't recognize, she must have been new, is almost shaking at this woman's outburst. I'll refer to her as C1 and the other cashier as C2. C1. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but I don't control the prices. I can offer you a used one if you want something cheaper. I don't want a used piece of crap. You heard him. Isn't there a discount or something? D do you have a coupon? No, but I am a member of your rewards program. Doesn't that get me anywhere? I'm sorry, ma'am, but... No, I won't pay $70 for a controller. You're trying to get me to pay extra. Ma'am, these are the prices for a new controller. And I'm sorry, but I can't do anything else. So at this point, I'm actually getting ticked off. And I saw the other guy who had stopped playing with the demo to watch the events unfold, get the same look on his face. But before either of us could say anything, the other cashier, who had been packing and organizing things behind the counter, speaks up. Is there a problem, miss? Yes, your friend here is trying to rip me off. How so? She's charging me $70 for a controller. C2 makes a big show of taking the controller, checking the price tag, and seeing if this is true. Nope. What do you mean, nope? She's not trying to charge you extra. A new controller like this costs $70. Are you serious? She grabs the controller and stares at the price tag. I'm serious, ma'am. Controllers on eBay are listed for a lot less. Yeah, why are they so much more here? You can't use unsold listings as a base price. Again, we can offer you a used one for cheaper. The little brat from earlier slowly pushes in front of his mum, who is fuming, gives her a look that says, I'll handle this, and leans against the counter like he owns the place. Look, I don't know if you recognized me or not, but I'm a very famous YouTube channel. It'd be a shame if people were to know about all of this. So if you lower the price, I'll make sure people never know about this. C2 makes another big show, pretending to think, looks at the kid, and then brightens. Wait, I recognize you. I'm not surprised. You're someone I've never seen before, and I don't care how famous you are. We're not giving you a discount, so either pay full price like everyone else here, or get out. I feel like he was addressing the mother in this situation, but then again, this was a while ago, so he didn't use those exact words. The entitled parent freezes, then purposefully knocks some things off the counter before grabbing her little brat and storming out. And as she does, the kid gives out one last threat. This is going on YouTube, you trolls. Now back to poor, poor C1, who is shaking and on the verge of tears. C2 grabs her hand and tries to comfort her. I finally decided it's time for me to make my move. So I go up to the checkout. I put my items on the counter and the dude from the demo comes up behind me. C2, the demo dude, and I spend a good five minutes trying to comfort her. Demo dude says something along the lines of, look, on the bright side, the kid will have quite a story to tell his three subscribers, which made her smile a little bit. When I finally get around to checking out, I made sure to give her a personal tip just because she had put up with that. But it honestly boggles my mind that there are people out there who forget that there are other people in this world besides them. And I've seen a lot of poor souls who work in retail get the worst of people like that. Moral of the story, cashiers are people too. Coincidentally, the kid was right. They did end up on YouTube, but I guess in a very different way than he imagined. How would he have complained about it on YouTube anyway? I mean, if that's the price, that's the price. If you want it cheaper, get a used one or do like what you said and buy one online. It's tricky when you're a cashier, waiter, tech support, anything that's the face of the business because you often get blamed and ranted at for policies that you don't have any control over. My family was having a yard sale and we had the usual stuff like old clothes, furniture, kitchen stuff, etc. I was selling some older video games. Background info. I had gathered 
gathered some old PS3 and PS4 games and was putting stickers with prices on them, like one to two dollars for the PS3 games. My PS3 had crashed, so I just wanted the games gone, and like ten to fifteen dollars for some older PS4 games. I had them all spread out on the desk in my room, about twenty total. I had managed to put stickers on most of the games and put them in a cardboard box labeled PS3 and PS4 games, but a few were still unpriced and unstickered. Before I finished the last few, my older brother asked me to help him set up outside. I went with him and figured I'd come back and do the rest later. Setting up took longer than we thought and people started showing up early. We finished setting up the last table and I was going to go back inside to get the box of games, but I saw my mum already dropped off the box labeled PS3 and PS4 games on a table. Great, I thought. She already grabbed the box from my room and saved me a trip. I figured I'd go finish pricing the last few games at the table. Enter a whale of an entitled mum and her preteen son. They were one of the first people to show up and the son is already at the box of games that my mum dropped off. I see him go through the box and I'm thinking, cool, he might buy some games. As I get closer, I see him pull out a red game case. Some key info here. PS3 game cases are black. PS4 game cases are blue. The Nintendo Switch game cases are red. I had recently bought a Nintendo Switch the week before, and I only had one game, Zelda Breath of the Wild, so I knew right away what had happened. My mum must have grabbed all of my games off my desk, including Zelda, and put them in the box. Here's where the fun begins. The son was the type of shy kid who spoke very quietly, almost a whisper, and only to his mum, who then spoke annoyingly loudly for him. He points to the game and whispers to his mother, How much for the game? There's no sticker. Sorry ma'am, it's not for sale. My mum must have put the game in the box by accident. She cuts me off. I'll give you ten dollars. It was a pretty new game at the time. I bought it for eighty dollars. As I was saying, it's not for sale. My mum put that game in the box by accident. I reach for the game, but the entitled mother grabs the game from the son's hands and holds it away from me. At this point, my older brother joins the fun. Note, my brother has zero tolerance with rude people. What's going on, bro? Mum put Zelda in the box by accident and this lady wants to buy it. My brother laughs and reaches for the game, but the entitled mother again pulls it away and holds it behind her. My brother was still relatively calm. Lady, my brother just got that game, it's not for sale. It was in the box so you have to sell it to me, saying it as if it's the law. I don't have to do anything lady, just hand it over, there's other games in the box you can buy. At this point I remembered that I just played Zelda the night before, so the actual game cartridge was in my Switch and wasn't in the case she was holding. Looking back I realized that I missed a huge opportunity to mess with her. I was kind of laughing. The game isn't even in the case, look! She opens the case and sees that it's empty. Where is it? Are you trying to scam me? My brother was getting annoyed. It's not in there because it's not for sale. What aren't you understanding? I'm not leaving without the game. With a smug grin, I say, You can have the case for $10 if you want. No, I want the game. You have to sell it because it was in the box. My brother now fully annoyed. Again with the freaking have to. Okay, you want the game? It's $500. I'm not paying that much. The other games in the box are only $10, so I'm only paying $10. The mother reaches in her purse to get the money, like that was the end of the sale. But my brother quickly grabs the case from her hand while she was distracted. Give that back or I'm caught the police. My brother, with no hesitation, here, use my phone. And he pulls out his phone. Want me to dial? For the first time, the mother is speechless. My brother isn't very tall, 5'10", but he is pretty muscular and can come off as intimidating when he wants to. My brother was annoyed and sees that she isn't going anywhere. He approaches her and says, Lady, I've had enough. Get the heck off of my property. The entitled mother, with fuss, grabs her son's arm and starts walking away, and my brother follows. In typical whiny style, as she passes some tables, she pushes a couple of boxes of clothes off to the ground. Then as she passes the last table, she reaches for a box of kitchen glassware to tip it over, but my brother grabs her wrist first to stop her. The mother yanks her arm away like she was just shot and screams, Assault! 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 You all saw it! Everyone is watching at this point. The brother sighs. We have security cameras there and there. He points to the camera above the garage and one in the corner of the house. I don't care. I'm going to sue you. Good for you. 
Now get lost. The mother gets in her Karen mobile with her kid and honks and flips us off as she speeds away. It's been over two years now and no lawsuit yet. Going to a garage sale is like playing the lottery. There's a chance you might get something great, but usually not a lot of great stuff. I mean, that's why they're trying to get rid of it, right? It's probably the same for the people who go to a garage sale too. Maybe you'll hit the lottery and there's a lot of nice people there, but chances are you're gonna get a lot of choosing beggars and just a lot of terrible people like this. I was chilling at the local pool and at this time, I was 12, I know right? I didn't fully know how to swim, so I drift towards the deep end and I am screaming for help as I am sinking and it is only my face above water at this point. The lifeguard does nothing, but he is preoccupied, to clarify, and my friend sees me and because he is an experienced swimmer, he pulls me out. Now at this point, because I used all available energy to try and keep afloat, I am very cold and shivering. It was a cold day. My friend tells the lifeguard, a different one, what happens and gets me a warm towel. It is at this point I see a woman across the pool helping her son out. These two will now be called an he says something to his mum. She comes over to the lifeguard and says, Excuse me, did you have any warm towels for my son over there? He is really cold. Sorry, we can only give them to people who need them after they've had this kid. And they point to me. He doesn't My son needs a towel. Can you please let him have yours? No, he was just nearly drowning in there. And he I ask you, you need to learn some manners, young man. Excuse me, but he is answering a question that you asked and said the same things that I would have. Please, can I just have the towel for my son? He needs it more than you. No, my friend just said that I need it. Give me the towel now. You were just a bratty teenager who doesn't need it anyway. I nearly drowned. What is your problem? The entitled mother proceeds to try and yank it away from my back when the lifeguard stops her and says, I'm gonna have to ask you to leave, please. You're causing a scene. So what? What? He doesn't need the towel and my son does. The child walks over. Mommy, what is happening? This kid won't give you a warm towel and it's being incredibly selfish. Mommy, it's fine. Can we go now? No, I need to see this lifeguard's manager. Miss, I am the head lifeguard and I am watching the pool today and you are stopping me from doing that. So you need to leave. Fine, but I personally make sure that you lose your job here. Bye. So after this happened, I got to come again for free and this woman was banned from this pool. Moral of the story, learn to freak can swim. I'm honestly surprised that the mother didn't pretend like an incident happened to her kid, or worse still, try and make an incident happen just so she could get a towel. We've seen other entitled parents do worse. Fortunately, this kid was pretty reasonable. He realized he couldn't get a towel and he just wanted to go home. Maybe there's hope for the next generation still. Submit your story to be read on the channel at voiceyhearstories at gmail.com and join our Voicey Veteran community at r slash voiceyhear. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell to never miss an episode. Alright Voicey Veterans, I'll see you in the next one.